Did you know that several marriages are being torn apart by debt? Debt can destroy marriage. Debt can destroy families, especially unnecessary debt. There are homes today that they have all kinds of debt they are battling with that could have been avoided if they do communicate with one another, if they had acted as one family. But when you have a situation where so A spends his or her money this way, B spends his or her money that way, it creates problem in marriage. God that put us together and said two are better than one is wiser than every one of us. There are debts that could have been avoided, but because one of the parties decide to take a decision without the knowledge of the other person, or one of the parties decide to manage money without the knowledge of the other person, now the entire family is suffering. And you know, one thing about debt in marriage is that it is not the person who directly incurs the debt that we suffer alone. It is going to affect everybody. It's going to affect the children. It's going to affect the husband. It's going to affect the wife. And then it can even affect the relationship between a husband and wife. Some can actually lead to divorce. Some can lead to separation. So you've got to be careful. There is wisdom in you and your spouse spending together, making financial decisions together. Two are better than one, for they will have a good reward for their labor. That is what the scripture says. Don't violate this and you will have a good reward for your labor in your family. My name is Olusha Gumoku Olu. God bless you.